What's happening, everybody? It's your boy Do Dog with Do Dog Reviews. In this one, we're gonna get down to the nitty gritty. We're gonna bring out the truth, the facts. Uh, a lot of people get disappointed, man. They get a little salty when you bring the facts. But listen, this is my opinion, right? Y'all know the old saying: opinions are like buttholes. Everybody's got one, right? Right? Unless it's been modified, you probably still got one. But anyways, it's my opinion. Um. We're going to break this down. Here's the Thanos, Thanoses. Now, these are the comic versions that I own. Um, the build a figure the Walmart exclusive, the new Deluxe, as you see here, the Marvel Select. I do not own the Marvel Select one with Lady Death that you could compare to this one. Unfortunately, never have owned it. Probably never will, really don't care. But anyway, interchangeable heads. You can make it work. Pegs, smaller on the old Walmart, but for photos and such, as far as scale is concerned, I mean, you can pretty much make that work, though, to be honest with you. Now, for me, this is my first time getting an old man bearded Thanos, so I'm definitely... Now, if you're into the whole cosmic Ghost Rider thing, that's the actual timeline. Um, of course, Frank Castle becomes the Herald of Galactus. Um, he goes to take out Baby Thanos, or Thanos has a baby, basically couldn't do it, starts raising him as his own. And here we have King Thanos, as you see here. Now, the real question, now, I understand, I know. Everybody's going to buy this thing anyways. So it really don't matter what reviewer says whatever we say, because I, I get it. Hey, I'm one of them, man. I'm going to buy it. It don't matter what nobody says. I'm going to buy it, right? That's what we do. Here we go, interchangeable head, interchangeable hands, which is awesome. A snapping finger. Open palm, open gripping slash, whatever you want to call it, fist hand. But yeah, just roll these bad boys like dice, baby. Just throw them all over the doggone table. Just do it all. Right here at the kitchen table, man. For real, that's where we at. That's where we at right now. Okay, now here's where this figure's kind of disappointing, folks. Don't get me wrong, looks amazing. Looks really good. Head sculpt's nice. Not a whole lot of paint going on, just really gold and blue. Like, no joke. Uh, there again, head sculpts, faces are painted great. Articulation sucks, though, man. I'm going to tell y'all, look at this, look at this. Of course, he's got a waist, which is good. Why, why can't they do him like Hulk with an upper torso and, and butterfly? Look at this. It will not click, will not stay. Maybe mine's defective. Maybe mine's the only one that's like, that's like this. Will not bend back. Will not bend forward. Super gummy. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Those of y'all been collecting Marvel Legends for a while now. You know what I'm saying, man. The gumminess. Double jointed elbows. You know, pretty good. If he has a boot cut, mine's stuck. Man, have to heat it up. I don't know. Maybe glued in. I don't know. But I think it's funny that it's says 2021 and i'm reviewing this in 2020 like some back to the future stuff man but yeah i mean looks great everybody's gonna buy it anyways but don't think the articulation gonna blow your mind because it's gonna be highly disappointed it feels dated is that the best word for it? yeah feels dated so many advances in architect in articulation and the dude can't even like i don't know man like yeah you know that I would say that's being nitpicky, but it's really not. That's a problem. Like, ab crunch don't even click at all. Like, oh, well. And as far as the girth, he's not that cr If you have the Walmart version or the original Build-A-Figure one, I mean, he, besides the head sculpt, the interchangeable hands and stuff, dude ain't that big of a difference, y'all. I'm telling you. Like, I thought he was way bigger than he actually is. And as you can see here, he's a little girthier. Just a tiny bit, but he's not that much bigger. So there again, if you want to save money, I don't know. But I, there again, I know we all going to get it anyway. So I get it. I get it. Yeah, but enough of all that. Let's check out some comparisons, some side-by-sides. Head keep falling. Oh, lower Marvel Select keeps falling over. Yay. You know, used to, uh, you know, I'd edit this stuff. Why do that? Why do that, man? Why? Why? Like, just let's just have fun with it. Play with the toys. Pose the figures. I ain't going to edit that junk. Right here, you got the Incredible Hulk. I thought I'd use the green one instead of the red or the gray, but obviously all on the same bodies. But you see what I'm saying, man? What? 
you know, I'm not saying they could have used this body, but they could have used this body. <laughs> I mean, really, they, they could have, could have, or something similar. Here he is next to the new Star Wars Black Series Nightmare Ray. I don't know what you want to call that. Sith Ray, Dark Lord, Sith Lord Ray, whatever, something. Maybe you want to see me review it? Leave a comment. Leave a comment. Hit the thumbs up. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. Now here he is next to something else. The exclusive GI Joe classified Cobra Commander soft goods cape. I mean, the guy looks amazing. I love it. Black and gold and red. And the exclusive Gomez. It's your boy Doodog. Hit the thumbs up. Leave a comment. Share the video. Subscribe.